Welcome to today's video. I'm excited to dive into some of my recent haul items and I wanted to kick it off with my first few items from Hey Happiness and I've partnered with Hey Happiness for a few months now and um, they're a jewelry company who is based in Germany. They have really elegant jewelry and lots of great collections so I've just been really enjoying their jewelry and their partnership. They're so sweet and kind and yeah, I've just really enjoyed my experience with their team and the quality of the jewelry. I wear their rings like every day and they've held up much better than some of my other jewelry I've had so I'm really glad with stuff I've had so far and I have a few new pieces that I wanted to share. I do have a discount code for them that I will share in the description for 10% off if you're interested. But I did want to just go ahead and dive right in to the goods. So I'm actually going to start with the little bag here. So I'll put this to the side. So I've, this actually came in one of the little boxes, but I just decided to separate it out. So it's just like a little cloth bag. I went a little different and got some silver rings. Now I'm usually a gold jewelry person, but I'm now at the point where I have so much that I kind of want to expand my silver collection. So I decided to start off with these silver rings. So I have like a thicker band here and a thinner one. And I just love these because I'm not afraid to mix metals. I really enjoy that about jewelry. I feel like I can kind of do whatever I want. So I got a size seven and I would say I'm a solid like seven and a half on a lot of my fingers. So for me, they feel really comfortable on my thumb. super cute and so I'll probably wear them a lot on my thumb and then probably stacked, you know, on other fingers if I want. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with them. I feel like they'll really go with pretty much anything um, and a lot of my other jewelry and I've actually already worn them once and I really liked them so super comfortable. Um, it's definitely like very smooth and shiny silver. So it's not like your, I would say more vintage looking silver. It's not quite like that. I'm like, how do I model my hands right now? <laughs> so yeah, definitely loving these so much. Uh, so those are the first few items I got and I will say they have a lot of like gold for sure and rose gold but pretty much most things they offer in a variety of different metals um, but I would say I think just because predominantly a lot of people like gold they'll feature a lot of gold but there is a lot of silver on their website so highly recommend whatever you're into they might have Next we have our little box, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. I love their little box, it's so cute. I've removed it from the box. Just put that over. So it is actually an anklet, and it's like this double um, band. 
not a double, well, yeah, it's like a double anklet band, um, so it can go, I'll put it around my wrist as an example, but it's a bit longer than the wrist, obviously. I probably could make it a, a bracelet, well, it might be a bit big, but, um, you can tell that it's just really simple, dainty, I love it, I've been really into anklets, so, I definitely feel like, um, yeah, I'm just like really into it for the, the warmer season and where I live in California. Summer basically extends into October, so <laughs> I can show my ankles for a little while longer, um, with sandals and everything. So, yeah, it's just super dainty and I like that there's like two attached together, so it kind of looks like I'm wearing two, but it's really just one. Um, so yeah, I'm really into anklets. Is anyone else into anklets? I've just been like really vibing on the anklet tree, if you will. So super beautiful and yeah, just thought I would do something a little different than getting rings uh, because I do feel like I have uh, quite a few rings. I want to say a few years ago, I really wanted to be that girl who just had always a lot of I'm not wearing a lot of rings in this video because I don't want like a lot of uh, jewelry sounds clunking around in the video. Um, but usually I wear a ton of rings and um, every day, like every day to work, all that good stuff, every time I go out. And I've become so comfortable with them that they, I, I need to wear them. Like it's just one of those things. Um, and I used to not have a lot of rings, and I really just wanted to be that girl who had a ton of rings, and I never felt that I would ever get to that point, but I think I really focused on getting and growing my collection through, like, birthday presents or Christmas and just, like, buying them on my own, and I'm really happy with, like, how many rings I have now and just that they're growing, and I just really enjoy it, so I'm just really a fan of jewelry. I feel like they make me feel so confident in any outfit I put together. They really do tie everything together like a bow. <laughs> okay, so that is the anklet. Okay, put that over there. All right, and lastly. super dainty bracelet. I feel like I don't really, I mean, I don't think I have any bracelets, really. I have, like, very few, and they're very, like, um, I would say, like, gifts from people, and I really treasure those, but day-to-day, -day, um, for the day-to-day, -day, I don't tend to wear a lot of bracelets, and I feel like I'm, I'm really into the dainty chain. I feel like it's, again, something just super simple, but elegant for going out at night or a family event or, you know, just pairing it with other items down the road is kind of also my goal. So I feel like I'm growing my collection here. Um, and this is the uh, pattern, I would say. It's like, a, like gold, twisting gold chain and then like a very small pearl. Just is really pretty and goes with some other pearl jewelry that I have. So I thought that would really pair nicely and it does. So yeah. Those are all the things I got from Hey Happiness. Again, if you're interested, I have a discount code below and feel free to check them out uh, for any of your jewelry desires. <laughs> I'm really like, happy with the quality of them. They've held up really well, and I, again, I wear my jewelry, like, every day, especially rings. I wear every day and wash my hands with them, and they've just been really wearing well, so feel free to check them out. All right, let's dive. 
dive into my next items. I'm excited to share some bags that I've recently bought. I am on a bag kick this past year, just collecting some handbags that I can wear and recently I've purchased some bags primarily for the everyday and traveling. We have a trip coming up to New York to visit my husband's family and I really was trying to think about the bags I would be bringing and I realized that there were some things in my collection that I had thought about getting but just haven't done yet and I felt like they would also be really useful for my upcoming trip. So I will dive into them now. So these first bags are from Uniqlo. You probably have seen them floating around but they're kind of like the more inexpensive version of the Baku bags which I was considering um, because I wanted a little bag, like, well, it's not very little, but I wanted, like, a fanny pack style slouchy bag like this for a while. Um, I do have sort of, like, a, a belt bag style, but it's just a lot tinier, and I wanted something a little bit more medium-sized for just, like, going out, um, and about, uh, you know, those Target trips or going to the grocery store, or getting gas, where um, depending on the errand or slew of errands I'm doing, I would want to bring a little bit bigger for a bag. So I got the Uniqlo slouchy bag. I don't exactly know the proper name for it, but I got the black one and I also got the like beigey one. They have a ton of colors and they're a lot more inexpensive. I ended up getting two, which is basically like the price of one of the Baku bags, basically. So, um, it's got like a little strap, which is pretty comfortable. This can fit quite a bit. I recently took it to the fair, um, and it was pretty, like it could fit a lot in there. I put like an extra shirt in there. It was great. I just think this is one of those bags that I just will reach for all the time in my day to day and I'm already doing it. Um, so it's actually got two inner pockets, which I love, and then obviously a big, big bag. So you can fit quite a bit. It's kind of like a, not like a nylon, but definitely crinkly texture. Um, I am a little nervous about it getting stained, but I heard you could wash it in the wash, so. Um, and by stained, I mean like with white <laughs> residue. Obviously this is black, so it would be less likely to show stains, but with the material being more cloth-ish, not cloth, but absorbent, hard to tell if, uh, how it'll hold up with that, but let me show the lighter version. I have yet to take the tag off. I honestly couldn't decide between the black and the beige, so I got both. I couldn't help it. Uh, so this is the beige one. It's actually like, depending on the lighting, it kind of gives like a, like it's not a proper cream the way I think it's showing up on camera definitely got like a yellow greenish tone um, but it's still great like it's it's definitely like a beige and would go with a lot so it's got the same strap this is the tag so it is I think it was like $20 and it's in the color natural it's their mini shoulder bag. And that's all I'm seeing. <laughs> it's 
So it's nylon and polyester, in case you wondered. So yeah, it is like a nylon type of texture. If you're able to see. Um, yeah, I love it. I can't wait to wear these. Okay, so that's the inside. Again, it's got the two pockets, which is very handy. These are very like trendy bags, but to be honest, I've I've definitely thought about getting this type of bag for a while, um, and I'm just really glad Uniqlo has more inexpensive options because the Baku bags were like I think 50 a piece, which I feel like is a bit much. However, they do have thicker straps, so they might be just a bit sturdier, um, and maybe one day I'll get. I thought maybe I would test out with Uniqlo, see how these hold up. They look really nice, and I think I'll have them for a while. I like that these bags, you could kind of like, depending on where you go, right? Unless it's like a very fancy dinner. Um, you could really wear this anywhere. Um, for any occasion, day or night. And I'm all about practicality and being able to use things in multiple ways situations. So, yeah, I'm super excited. I will likely bring either the beige one or the black one to New York. I'm not really sure which one just yet because I do have some other bags I want to share that I'm thinking of bringing too. Um, for this trip, I mean, I feel like for trips, I tend to think about like, oh my goodness, like what clothing do I need for the situation? But because New York is very, like, kind of, like, anywhere city-wise. It's not, like, a tropical vacation, I mean, or, like, super crazy weather will be occurring. I feel like I can kind of get away with just wearing clothes I already have. For this trip, I felt like the bag situation, I needed something. I needed some variety, versatility, and some durability. So, yeah, I'm excited to wear these. Definitely um, excited about these. So this next bag is my travel personal item bag. Um, I already have a carry-on suitcase that I plan to bring, but I was really looking to purchase a new personal item bag that sort of obviously is very roomy. I'm just someone who can never pack light, unfortunately, but I am trying to do my best to do that for my next trip. Um, I just don't feel like lugging around luggage. So I do have a personal item bag, a travel bag, that I've had for years, and I love it, but I really wanted to just try something new. It's been like six years. So I've had that same bag this whole time, and I think I was ready to just kind of try something different, a little more fun. This is pink, and my other bag is gray. Um, this is the infamous Calpac bag, which you may or may not have heard of. Um, it's definitely like that plush. Which, honestly, when you have a bag up against your shoulder for, for a while, you, you know, wanting something comfortable is kind of nice. Um, and I like that this was also something I could really just kind of do uh, for any day, um, you know, that I need to pack a bit heavier, like an overnight bag, or if I'm going over to visit, visit family nearby for the day, and I just want to pack a bit more stuff. I feel like this is a really like useful bag for that. So I was super excited to get it. It's definitely on the pricier side. I think it was like over a hundred dollars. Nevertheless, I know it'll last a very long time uh, if I treat it well. So it's got these like handles. Um, I'm kind of like shorter 
frame, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be slipping off a lot, but to be honest, I do like having shoulder bag versus crossbody. Um, just ends up working better for me to hold it that way anyway, so ideally this will be a bit comfortable. front so the front does open up as a pocket I wonder if it has the name in here it's the Luca duffel bag it's got a soft puffy exterior zippered front pocket side shoe compartment now oh, that's cool there's a luggage trolley sleeve with a hidden pocket and a removable crossbody strap. Oh, there is a crossbody strap. I didn't realize. Sorry. This is the front. If you don't pack it to the brim, it's not like too big, you know. So then we've got side pocket here, which is great because I always buy a water bottle at the airport. And my other bag didn't have a side pocket for like a water bottle. And so stuff like this um, really makes me. shoe compartment. So there's like a hole that goes in for your shoes, which is really interesting. I'll have to play around with this a bit more because I didn't really know that. <laughs> okay, so this is the center. So the shoes would go into um, the bottom. So it is kind of like you could see where the shoes are, but the shoes aren't like touching all your stuff. I think that's the point of that pocket with the little sleeve for your uh, shoes. So that's what it looks like. There. Pockets. Lots of pockets. We love lots of pockets. And then there's like a little mesh bag zipper pocket on the other side. Which is very useful considering like on the plane or something like yeah, I don't want to be digging at the bottom of my bag for like my airpods or my charger so the side pockets are very essential okay. so there is the crossbody strap I see I'm not sure that I want to use it again I just feel like that ends up hurting my body more because I don't know, the weight isn't like where my shoulder is, which is the stronger part of me. It scans very wide. And then, this is the pocket that you can uh, loop your suitcase handles on, which is, which is so important and one of the essential things I look for when it comes to a travel bag. They did say there was a secret pocket. So this can be its own little pocket for items. I love it. So many pockets. So. I know this is a more bulky thing to share, but I am so excited. I feel like it will motivate me to pack a little lighter than I usually do in my other bag and um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to test it out. So again, it's the Calpac Luca Devil. And I will report back if I like it. It already feels like a pillow, so <laughs> I'm a fan. Okay. So the next bag I got 
was something I've been thinking of getting for a long time and I was inspired to just go out and get this bag. This is from Amazon. It's kind of like a fancier fanny pack bag and I wanted to get this because I wanted a bag that could be a day to night bag. So it's something that is casual enough for the day but could be used and for travel, essentially, it's really helpful. I feel like for like the city and where we'll be, it'll be very appropriate. It's not like going to Vegas, maybe, and you want something like super. I mean, this I would wear to Vegas too, to be honest. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not. I I don't want to have to bring like three different cute handbags that goes with all my outfits. Um, but it's like a tiny little shoulder bag. I wanted something a bit more like could go for the day, could go for the night. And then also I have those Uniqlo bags. So I just went ahead and got it and I'm happy I did because it sort of exceeded my expectations. It's flat right now because that's how I received it. But it's definitely great that it's not structured. Like it can be a little flat. Uh, because if I need to pack it away, it's easy. And also, I don't want it to be just like this big bulky thing on my body. Um, and it's not too big. Which is also important. I think I'm just like a... I'm a shorter person, so I just feel like bags can get just a lot. Like, they can just be a lot to handle if they're right, right on top of me. Um, but this is pleasantly a great size for me. So this is the fanny pack opening. It's got back pocket and there's even a front compartment and it seems really roomy. Like I feel like I could fit my phone and like a battery charger in there kind of thing. I really love it. It's got this like colored lining. There's a back pocket which is great for like money or cards what it looks like. And then I really love the strap. Like I'm really a fan of this two-toned strap with like a monogram on it or a logo. Um, and this is from Amazon and it's by the store. Um, Escori. If you wanted to check that out. You can link it below as well. I'll link all the stuff that is in this video if you need to check it out anywhere, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it feels really well made for what it is. It feels sturdy, feels comfortable, again, not too structured, and the strap is thick, which I know will be comfortable, and I can wear it with, like, day to night outfits, which was my my thought process. I really wanted to find something practical and that went with a lot instead of feeling like I, I would have outfits that needed a specific bag for it that I didn't want to pack and bring. So, um, yeah. It's one of those trips where we're meeting lots of people and doing different things and day things and night things and city stuff and it's just like it's hard to keep everything um, consistent. <laughs> so I'm trying to think ahead, and it, this is the kind of bag I've been wanting for a while anyway, so I thought, why not? And yeah, so it's got like that quilted, it's definitely like a rougher leather, <laughs> um, like a pebbly, but it's nothing to I like it. I'm really happy I got it. So this is the last bag that I got. Um, I know, it's a lot of bags. I was just in my, my moment of bags. <laughs> um, and I've been wanting a new tote bag. I only have like two plain canvas bags that I got a long time ago, really cheap on Amazon. And those are like, I use those kind of like a grocery bag-esque, uh, but I wanted something a little more 
artsy and I found that um, Amazon does not have a great selection and obviously I probably could have spent more time looking in other places with artsy tote bags. I'm sure there's plenty on Etsy for example. But I did see this on Amazon and I was like, yep, I really want that. And I know it's a Van Gogh painting. I get it. That is just... Who doesn't have that? <laughs> but honestly, I love it. And I love art. So for me, it just spoke to me. It came in this cloth bag. That's really nice. So this is just like a bit sturdier. It looks like. This is the first time I'm opening it. Um, it says Van Gogh on it. So it's, you know, got the theme, one of his famous pieces. And it's kind of like a proper tote bag. Um, it's got a zipper and even like a little small compartment. I love this. I feel like this is something that I can like take the, to the library or like, you know, when you go shopping or go have errands, but you don't want to like, you know, you're not getting a lot of stuff. So you might as well just bring one tote bag and like, you can put all your wares in there. That's kind of why, how I would use my tote bags. So I love this because it's so artsy and fun and very compact. So if I wanted to bring it anywhere, traveling, otherwise, like it, it would be useful. thicker straps. Yeah, and I really love the zipper concept. That's really nice. That's the zipper zipped. And it's not too big. I would say it's like a medium sized for me. That's plenty large enough. So I am really happy about this one. Yeah, it feels really good. And I don't see any issues with it, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's the Starry Night oil painting. Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, there's a little quote. It says, it's never too late to start being who you want to be. That's so nice. <laughs> I like that. Anyways, yeah. This is just one of those things that, like, I had on my wish list for a while. And I just decided to, to get it. It wasn't great. bags and like fanny pack bags are like staple things. I love traveling bags. Um, I don't really have a lot of travel, you know, duffel bags or carry-on bags or anything like that, but I'm super excited about my cow pack bag and I just get really excited about bags. I think it's because I love being organized and it just really feeds my soul to have a new bag. The last few items I have to share are some clothing items, and I've yet to try this on, so to be honest, I don't really have a great review of it because I haven't tried it. It's from Rioria, it's from Amazon, and I feel like I've been seeing a lot of like bodysuit stuff on Amazon, a lot of like those skims, dupes, stuff out there, and I definitely had something on my wish list, my cart, that I've been wanting to buy for a while and I just decided to try it. Um, so, this is the brand. And if you have found something similar and loved it, feel free to let me know because I'm always on the hunt. Um, this is apparently, I mean, I read a lot of reviews. This is a bodysuit. a halter bodysuit and ideally I don't have to wear a bra with this because honestly as I get older the less I want to be wearing undergarments that like like if I don't have to if the garment can just do the support for me I would love it but this was some pretty good reviews and I believe I got a size 
one size that I get a medium just so that it would really support me. I'm a little nervous about it fitting me in my hip area just because I have wider hips, so bodysuits can be fun, <laughs> as we all are probably experiencing in our own in our own lives. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I will report back. But if you have found something similar like bodysuits or like kind of skin tight but like supportive tank tops and all that, I definitely I've actually had a bad experience in the past where well it wasn't like a bad experience, but I definitely have bought some bodysuits from an Amazon seller and they sent me the wrong product and it would cost it would have cost more to ship it back to them than to just like in order to get the return so I was just like I'm gonna keep them and I'll figure out how to wear them someday but I get nervous sometimes now with some I think that's been the only bad experience with an Amazon clothing seller I, for the most part I really like the clothing I get on Amazon I feel like it ends up working out really well but there is that risk factor so yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Okay. Now this item pleasantly surprised me, and this is actually a Skims item. It is the what if I get, the soft lounge mini slip dress in medium in black. I thought long and hard about this. <laughs> I'm wearing black so you can't even see it. I thought long and hard about this, did some research, and honestly I really just, I wanted to go for it and try it, and you guys, it looks so good. It looks amazing. Okay, if you've been thinking about it, I honestly, I might recommend it. This is like a little black dress, and it's something that I could wear casually or dress it up and that's why I got it because I wanted something that was versatile that didn't feel too fancy that was only reserved for like very fancy events but I could dress it up if I wanted to could throw on some heels or I could wear some cute platform sandals or my Doc Martens with them like that's the kind of girl I am I needed to be there's some versatility when I tell you, I was shocked. How good this looked on me, I, I did not have high hopes. I did get a medium to like make sure it was really supportive and I probably could have even gotten a small, but at that point I felt like the fabric would be very thin and that just might get a little dicey. But I am a 5'3", so I got the mini slip dress, the mini one, which is just the shorter version of the maxi dress that everyone loves because I didn't, the maxi would have been very long on me and I didn't want to like try to get it tailored and it's hot outside so I was like I'll just do the short one and the likelihood of it being appropriately you know mid thigh to knee is pretty high and it is because I'm shorter. It's technically longer than a mini dress on me so it's just one of these dress, the, I'm probably going to get the long one to be honest it's expensive, okay, but I love it, and that just, it sealed the deal for me, I'm a fan, I can't wait to wear it for like the rest of the season and into fall, and I think if you're in a warm climate, something like this, just, uh, I've been needing this type of little black dress for so long, it's like a thinner material too, it is gonna show, like it's a bodycon, type of thing so it's up to you on how comfortable you are with what you're wearing underneath so I was not sure how I would feel just you know with the undergarments I currently have so I decided to buy some of their undergarments and I haven't tried these on yet so I can't say for sure that they're amazing, but if they're anything like the dress, I'm, I have very little doubt. So I got the scoop bra and 
this I figured I could wear under the dress or literally anything else. I'm a little nervous that it's very, like, uh, it's supposed to stretch. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try this on. Um, I got it in a medium. Again, I think just to have that support. We shall see. But I love this style. I feel like this is very simple and um, it, it will kind of be a great undergarment underneath that dress or literally most things I own. Then I also got the, it's called the Soft Smoothing Seamless Boy Short. Uh, so it looks like that. And this is also purposely for the, dro uh, the dress. But again, I have other dresses and stuff like that. And so I really wanted to try this out. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Everything feels really great. High quality. I mean, it was a pretty penny, so I'm glad, I'm glad it's good quality. Um, but yeah, honestly, I love this dress. feel amazing in it. I would probably pair it with like white tennis shoes and a jean jacket or for, you know, nighttime, I can wear my platform sandals, throw on some jewelry, um, or obviously you could do heels depending on where you're going, um, with a leather jacket. I mean, there's just so many options with tights down the road. I'm just super pleasantly surprised by that. So just one of those things where a shot in the dark and then you're hoping it fits you and it does which is great <laughs> well those are all my wares very bag oriented and some clothing um but i hope that you enjoyed my little haul i love sharing my recent finds that i get excited about yeah so thank you for watching and i hope that um yeah wherever you are, you're doing well, and thank you for spending this time with me. I hope to see you in the next